Florida may seem like the perfect place to live, but today I'm going to give you seven reasons why people have discussed regretting their move to Florida. This is Jody Goodell, your pet lover's realtor coming to you from beautiful Boca Raton, Florida. Please follow me. portion of the year. For at least five months, if not six or seven, the heat and the humidity are just stifling. Remember, this is the same climate that allows the rainforest to thrive. If you're a northerner, you're going to miss your seasons perhaps as well. Our season changes are very subtle. If you like digging your car out of the snow, stay where you are. If you would enjoy the winter months with that beautiful tropical breeze in your hammock or at the beach or on your boat, then please move to Florida. Number two, the cost of living is not cheaper. As more and more people move to Florida, it makes it that much less affordable than it once was. In 2021, U.S. News and World Report actually ranked Florida as average for cost of living compared to the rest of the nation, and one of the worst, actually eighth, for the housing affordability. Also, the wages and salaries have not increased in Florida as they have in most of the nation. If you're lucky enough to be offered a wonderful position in Florida with a good salary, then this is the place for you. Number three, tourists and retirees. It's one thing to come and visit Mickey Mouse or Legoland. It's another to actually live here. The state of Florida does actually cater to the tourist. Florida is the third most visited state in the nation. Florida's population is comprised of 20% retirees. So it's no wonder that the state caters to tourists and retirees. Number four, annoying bugs. Lots of them. Mosquitoes being number one on my list. In the mosquito season, they are large enough to carry you away on their wings. We also have fire ants, which if bitten by them will leave large welts and a horrible, horrible itchy feeling for a long time. And then there are the spiders. The two to really stay away from are the recluse spider and the wolf spider. If you're an equestrian, you know all about the horseflies. In horsefly season, you certainly should not wear shorts or short sleeves to the barn. Then there's the famous palmetto bug, cousin to the cockroach up north. Although harmless, they do kind of freak people out. Number five, dangerous animals. There's the alligator. And whereas they usually don't attack people, the alligator does often mistaken small children and small pets as prey. It's best to leave them in their territory alone and never feed them. Then there are the sharks. Florida is home to so many different species of shark, but the two that are truly dangerous is the great white and the bull shark. Florida also has wild boar in certain parts of the state. It's best to stay away from those as well. The black bear and the panther have significantly decreased in population due to their shrinking habitat. They don't present a nuisance at all. Snakes, on the other hand, are abundant. And although they're not all venomous, I treat them as if they are. And if I see one, 
I freeze or go the other way as quickly as possible. Every state has some sort of animal that can pose a danger to the population. But if you use common sense around wildlife, you should not have a problem. Number six, hurricanes. Hurricane season goes all the way from June to like November now. And the good news about a hurricane is you have plenty of time to prepare. So please listen carefully and follow the advice of the professionals and you will make it safely through the storm. Number seven, global warming. Sea levels are rising. This has been said to decrease the vulnerable areas of Florida on the coast by five to 10% in property values. there can be more intense hurricanes, storms, and other natural disasters. But this exists anywhere in our nation. Florida is a great place to live. I've been here since 1982, and I wouldn't live anywhere else. But with those benefits, there are also negatives. You should weigh your decision carefully before moving to paradise. And if you do decide you would like to move to Florida, I'm here to help you. Jody Goodell, realtor with Signature Paradise Realty International in beautiful Boca Raton, Florida. If you've enjoyed my video, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. And please watch my next video. Thank you. Have a wonderful day and I will see you next week.